Hey everybody, it's Anthony here on Edu Power Tools, and I'm here today to kind of guide you through a concept that I came across at um, a workshop at a um, professional conference that I went to this past January. Uh, it was called Datapalooza, and uh, it's a it was a MassQ conference, uh, which was pretty cool. And this presenter, Laura Cahill, who is a district technology coach with Worcester Schools, um, gave a presentation on using Google Classroom for standards-based grading. And uh, the basic idea of it is that you set up a Google Classroom for uh, your students, and the Google Classroom doesn't have any specific um, assignments necessarily or um, specific work that's being assigned in the Google Classroom, but it's serving as kind of a uh, platform for all the standards that you're uh, meeting in the particular grade level or subject area that you're teaching. So for instance, um, you set up a classroom, say you're a seventh grade English teacher, you're going to uh, create uh, different topics in the Google Classroom uh, that, I that are lined up with each of the standards that you have and then any of the substandards that you have as well. So, uh, so I'm going to kind of walk you through this blog post that she posted uh, that kind of gives you an idea of what to do with it and I'll also provide you a bunch of resources down below to uh, get uh, some get going with this because I think it's a really great tool especially in this time where we have a lot of school closures due to um, the coronavirus. I think that it's kind of a neat way to be able to uh, demonstrate students understanding of material that they are accessing from home. So, uh, all right, so this is the blog post. There's a link down below. And this is basically how we're gonna use Google Classroom for standards-based um, grading. So the first step that she is saying that you need to do is you need to create a Google Classroom specifically for your grade level content standards and add the appropriate students. So you're gonna add in all of your grade level content standards, and then you're gonna add in the students that you're teaching. Second step is you're going to create a topic for each content standard. Okay, and the topic is going to serve like a bucket for uh, for each of the standards to put in different strands, content focuses, uh, and things like that. So to create a topic, remember you go into the classwork tab, you go to create, and you uh, select topic, and then you're going to create a different topic for each of the content standards that you have. Step three is you're gonna create an assignment for each indicator underneath the appropriate topic. So underneath all the strands or any of that stuff for each indicator, you're gonna create a different assignment. You're not gonna attach a specific Google Doc or anything to it, you're just creating the assignment and then the student is going to determine how, what they're gonna to upload to demonstrate that they've met the standard. And then as far as a grading scale for this, uh, what Laura's suggesting, suggesting is that you might wanna do like a met or not met scale. So we can't type in text as far as grading goes in Google Classroom, but if you would do a scale of zero to one, then you know zero is not met and one is that they've met the standard. Um, and then she also suggests that if you want to do like a partial a partial points like one to five, uh, then you can do a scale where you got partially met or approaching mastery, things like that. So those are some suggestions that she has there. Step four is going to be that your students are going to attach one or more pieces of evidence that they may have that are uh, that they believe demonstrate that they understand each of the different standards, each of the different um, uh, topics underneath the standards. And then for younger students, you can do this part of like a student teacher type conference type thing. And how they do that is they do it just like they would do any kind of normal assignments under any other circumstances in Google Classroom, add it using a link or a Google Drive or a file that they can upload. And then the fifth and final step is that you have a meeting with the student to kind of review uh, what they have in this classroom and go through each of the different pieces of evidence that they have submitted. Obviously, you've probably taken a look at it before you meet so that you kind of know which um, which items need more attention than others. Uh, and then you kind of go from there. So uh, like I said, again, it's a kind of a neat way, especially in this nebulous way uh, uh, form of education that we have right now where we're all kind of stuck in our houses and... Um, you know, you don't. You may not be giving out the same material uh, in the same way that you would do under normal circumstances. Uh, it's a nice way to kind of put everything all in one place. And in the future too, it's a kind of a nice way to think about how you can uh, set up this for when we are back to normal and we do have our, our you know, we're back to our schools and in our classrooms. How can you use this to kind of help with standards-based grading throughout the year and under regular circumstances? So kind of a neat 
idea. I thought I would share this with you. Uh, I think it's a great way to use Google Classroom. And if you have any questions about this or need any help, please make sure you check out the resources below or feel free to reach out to me. I'm happy to help at any time. Hope you guys have a great day. Thanks. Thank you.